Last time on Roll for Distraction, The Lost Colony, Hunter Squad left the settlement of new towns with two goals in mind. Meet up with Commander Redrick, and take out at least one of the enemy's AA emplacements. They traveled for a few hours along a path that in theory would let them intercept Vanguard Squadron on their way to the settlement. However, they were ambushed by enemy units consisting of small hacker mechs piggybacking on top of medium-sized sword mechs. They managed to gang up on Tex and sent his NHP into Cascade, causing it to lash out at whatever was nearby. Luckily, Mac was able to use his stasis generator, freeze the rampaging Barbarossa while the rest of the party fought off their attackers. When the dust settled, they made radio contact with the commander again, and are now on their way to rendezvous with his squad at the site of a mysterious explosion nearby. for all of our listeners for pushing us past the 500 subscriber mark beep, and beep, now beep, beep. we are over the 600 subscriber mark as well yeah so that thank you so much. much we didn't have time to put something together before it hit the next 100. yeah sorry yeah. for not not mentioning it sooner but we were hovering around four for so long that like we just randomly hit five and we, we just got hit by the fucking blitz yeah you, <laughs> yeah you you you, you psychos kind of sp- Bed run that thing. Yeah. We are, we are <laughs> so at 36 you. at so time where, of recording. Where, where'd you come from? Let us know down in the comments. Where the hell did you come from? Yeah, bring you your friends. Where did you, you go? Also, where'd you come from, Cotton? Cotton, Cotton Eye also, did yeah. you subscribe <laughs> so that Alex could be Gerard's boss? Yeah, I, I went. I left for a vacation on August 8th, and we were at 390 subscribers. And when I came back, we were at like 600. So we, th- thank, yeah, thanks, was, everybody. Welcome. Watch our other videos, please. We were texting we, uh, Alex while he was in Europe, just being like, dude, it's still going. Yeah, I was very confused. I'm like, I should leave the country more often. <laughs> <laughs> Go more yeah, maybe I should just fuck off. I don't know. <laughs> get out. Uh, happy to have you. Thank you. Let's let's get back to the big robots that you're actually here for. <laughs> now that we've been um, <laughs> I've also been playing Armored Core for like two days now and that just it makes me sad because <laughs> it's better than Lancer. I know you can't compare them. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like you're trying to compare like it's apples and oranges, but like, man, Armored Core is really good, and I love big robots. <laughs> anyway, go go, John. Uh, our big robots. What are we doing? We're walking through the forest. Oh. Yeah, walking through the minute. forest. The need, last thing I, we did. I need a recap. Please. Uh yeah, you need a recap. I I need a recap. Last thing that happened was you took your time trying to get your bearings on where you would need to meet up with Vanguard Squad. They had You had just gotten a communication through and had a better understanding of where they were going and figured out that you're both heading towards the same crater, some sort of impact or explosion. You see smoke in the distance, so do they. You're both heading towards it. That's where we left off, was you just got to where you kind of see it on the horizon, a few wisps of smoke coming from behind it beyond the trees. And that is where we will leave off. Or pick up, rather. The other one. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. We'll all see right, you all next everybody, week. All right, like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord. We sped, we sped run this episode. We went very fast. I gotta go what, back to play Armor Core. I'll see you. <laughs> Does anything happen on the way to the crater, John? Is anything happening as you walk towards the crater? Well, you... Yolnir's in the crater. No. You gotta pull it out. Uh, the only things you see are occasionally wildlife running not like sprinting, not like, oh God, I'm impending death, but like moving away from the direction that you're going. Sure. Even if they're coming towards you, they're just going away from the crater. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, that's not weird. What color are the squirrels, John? Yeah. <laughs> the same color as the bark. Ah. Uh, which is what? What, what? what other wildlife is coming through? Is it like deer with like six legs or something? We went over this. There's a very much, there's a, a six-legged <laughs> buffalo-like animal. How does the meat taste? Buffalo, 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 buffalo. It ta- the buffalo tastes like buffalo sauce. <laughs> like, uh, just like the good. sauce? The very, very <laughs> spicy buffalo. What about buffalo chicken? I do not know enough about biology to determine the taste of alien buffalo meat. It tastes I don't think anyone like does. alien chicken meat. Can we get to the crater now? Yes, let's go. Yes, oh. you can get to the crater. As you approach the crater, you start to see that some trees seem to have less leaves on them, and then some of them are smaller ones are slightly bent, 
and then larger ones are slightly bent until you get to the edge of the crater where the trees are knocked down or bent over with no leaves on them, some burn marks. The crater is about 40 meters across. What is that in American, please? It's like 120 feet. Yeah, give or take. I mean, um, and it goes about 10 or 20 meters, 10 or 15 meters deep. You're not 100% sure on the depth. It's sort of rough at the outsides, and there's... All right. Who wants is to there, jump in? Is there an object in the middle of the crater? There is. What is it? Let's go on. Can I go science? <laughs> there is a uh, flat black 20-sided shape. <laughs> a For big the, D20. A die? The, the is great it a die? D20. Oh, God. There is a, the sky. And, and you notice that it is about two meters across. Do we have a Geiger counter on our mechs? Yes, there is no beep, beep, there beep, is beep. there is no abnormal radiation, seeing okay. that you're all carrying nuclear reactors. There is no ambient nuclear radiation. Great. Do we do we go into the crater to get a closer look? Do you volunteer? I volunteer. Can I go we, in the crater. Let, let's I have, volunteer uh, tribute. Before we go in, I'll, I'll say, hey, uh, Tex, have your drone do a, a circle around here. See if you can, if there's anyone else watching. If there's any other movement. Copy. And uh, I'll I'll send send the drone out. The edge, like the edge of the crater, um, and the area around it, is it still like wooded, or are we out on like plains now? Uh, it's what I said that there's still trees, but a lot of the foliage is gone, and they're knocked over or partially uprooted. Wait a minute. This is a war set from Destiny, isn't it? It's not a war set from Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Those are. Skin- 20 sided. There are only. Look, it's a shape. <laughs> God, John, why didn't you invent a new shape? Why didn't I, why didn't I <laughs> invent a new shape? The four dimensional shape that no one can comprehend. Yeah, it's kind of phase shifting a little bit. There, you got a new shape. It's You're not sure if it's in your dimension or another one. <laughs> My eyes can't conceive it. It may be piloted insane. by Schrodinger's cat. I don't know. A, a decorate. <laughs> Actually, I would like you to roll a spot or investigation check. You can only do one and they could be different information. 13. About a kilometer from the crater, but heading away from it, you spot Vanguard Squad. Hmm. Hmm. All three mechs, as you expect. I will radio over to Hook and be like, hey boss man, I spotted Vanguard Squad. They're uh, they're going away from us. Are they like running? Are they like running? They are not in a full sprint, but they're not taking their time. They're moving at a pretty good clip towards the mountain. Weren't they just coming from the mountain? Well, vaguely, from the direction of the mountain. Shit, we can't really investigate this thing and chase them. I don't want to lose them. Question, and don't yell at me, because I will cry. (laughs) Okay. Why are we going... Why why are we going to this mountain again? Because it's where the bad robots come from, and we need to close it. Yes. It it is where Robert Rodriguez's film studio is based. That is a reference I don't understand. He's, he's he makes his movies in a mountain? No, Bad Robot. That's what it is. Oh, Bad Robot. Uh, Guys, really? Okay. I thought that was JJ. Is that... Is, oh, man, am I that wrong? Okay. I think you're that wrong. No, because Bad Robot was like Spy Kids and all that. Yeah. Was it? You mean Dimension? Oh. CEO, JJ Abrams. Oh. You fool. Man. <laughs> what is happening? Whoops. My you bad. You got the wrong director. Okay, that makes even more sense that J.J. Abrams is involved here. Yes, he would make a fine Lancer movie. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, You can leave that in, but we're going to... I got confused. (laughs) All right, moving on. Vanguard's going towards the J.J. Abrams mountain. Yep. (laughs) Hey, huh. At the top of the mountain, a lens flare. (laughs) Shut up. I'm having a conversation. Like Sauron's eye. (laughs) Misty Isle of the Mountain? Yes, Tex. I thought they'll be coming around the mountain. Not heading towards it. Oh, boy. Um, all right, I put it to a vote. Do we investigate the mysterious D20 that fell from the sky or chase after our commander? Because if he's not sprinting, D20. He's not sprinting we should be able to catch up, up to him. But um, mysterious D20. There'll be no splitting up. I will break a tie if the four of you tie. Alex, what do you want to do? Who's Alex? Me! Okay, fine. <laughs> Newt, what do you want to do? <laughs> I kind of want to go. That's one for Chase. Boo. Mac, what do you vote for? I would like to roll the d20. One for dice. <laughs> Tex. Uh, I would say get Vanguard Squad. I also have an idea. Boo. 
Yeah, and then Gerard, you're gonna vote for a dice based on your booing. Yeah, I want, I want to, I want to see the dice. I want. Cool. I, want to... I have to make decisions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cap did make a decision. You could I let will... a D, you could let your your plain black set of d20s decide. Yeah, you know, I have my I have my own black twenty sided thingamajig. Uh, th- thus, this shall choose. Odd, for we chase after our commander, even for we spend a few minutes here investigating the thingamajig. Letting chaos decide. That is evens. We will spend a moment here investigating the thingamajig. Yes, all right, I want to roll it. I want to roll it. Uh, do we know if we're well within the uh, the comms blackout? Yeah, we could. Can we try local radio first? I, I, sure. Th- that was why yeah. I told you, and you just assumed. Oh, the... I'll, 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 yeah, I'll pick up the mic and be like, uh, Commander, we've arrived at the crater. Do you read me? Static crackles for a moment. Book, is that you? Yes. Code phrase. What's the code phrase? Catchphrase. Uh, you each have a safety code word with the commander that's like this is actually me no one else would know this so i'll let you pick whatever that is now and it'll be appropriate uh um i'll say it's the name of the ship i grew up on valhalla it is you good we're heading towards the mountain uh catch up to us are you at the crater yes did you see what this thing is yes talk to it meet us meet us on the way to the mountain you'll catch up talk to it uh oh it can vanguard speak. out did no time did he just say talk to it? He just said talk to All it. All right, let's go talk to it. Hey, Mac. <laughs> Hello, my turn. Mac, go, go talk to the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume it's a machine because we've seen other machines made of shiny yeah, black stuff ignorant. before. Don't assume. You can't assume in what year is it again? Four, 43 something. Something. I'm going to start making my way towards the uh, mountain since I'm slower. Yo, why don't you stay on the edge of the crater, uh, Tex, and, and guard? <laughs> I have the, the high ground, kids. Anakin. Yes. Oh, shit. You I'll, underestimate I'll go my be power. Anakin. I'll go science. Here's the thing, Tex, you could not jump over anyone if you tried. I could jump over them. I'm just going to land on top of them as well. That's not what jumping over means. All right, John. Uh, I would like to go down and try. Can I scan it with my scanners to try to figure out? I would out, like, like to what, follow what Mac language down. it speaks. Okay, so who are three of you are going to go into the crater and two are going to wait on Overwatch, or what's happening? I'll, I'll wait with Colin. Yeah, okay. I would like to go. I do into a lot of talking. You, you three have fun with the science. So, science t- scientist, robot, and uh, and, and Jotaro me. Joestar are going to go into. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not his last name. You should know that, you fake fan. Sure. Jotaro. Okay. So now, Overwatch team, you're going to chill out and just Overwatch. We'll We're going to do our scene perimeter. with the group in the crater. Okay. Newt, Mac, and Viper. That's us. Yeah. You are walking through the crater. The terrain is very difficult. It's a little harder for Mac to move because he is so much smaller. He's got little legs. Yeah, but I've been learning. You are able to move over everything and reach the dodecahedron. Now it's a dodecahedron? I thought that's, it was 20-sided. That is 20, right? Do. No, that's, no, a that's 12. 12. Name of a d20 shape. It's a icosahedron. 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 Okay. Actually, you want it to scan it first. So, please, yeah. I want you to do two rolls for me. A spot and an investigate. Ooh, spot natural one. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a 20-sided shape. Now please roll an investigation. Guidance. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, based on your understanding of masks and impacts, this should have made a larger crater for how big it is if it was falling from orbit. This should have made a larger crater given its size. So you think it, it slowed didn't. down before impact? So I think it slowed down somehow before it impacted the surface. Do you think it hit something think it... else? Negative, just impacted on the surface. Do you think it's some sort of ship with boosters? It's a possibility. Possibly. Uh, so what do you do, Mac? Or Newt? I'd... Either of you can make the decision here on what you want to do. What, I, I, can't, I can't do a thing? Uh, you're... Chop over? Sure, <laughs> what do you want to do? I knock on it. You Go, touch it? <laughs> okay. The Hello, second you anybody touch it... Home? The second you wrap one knuckle on it, time stops for you. Uh, you see images of a structure about the height of the mountain overlooking a plane with almost an unending view of machines matching this pattern, the dark matte colored pattern. 
Some of them look manufactured, others are unique and look like they were brought on board and captured. Another flash, and you see a single mech standing upright and tall, larger than any you've seen before, maybe a size 4 or even size 5 mech. Whoa. Shit. What is this, a, me- a megazord? From the, Big Sam. From the perspective of a person on the ground looking up at it. Uh, and then a hand touches your shoulder, and it's an extremely pale... The shoulder of the person in the vision. It's an extremely pale hand, and they say, We'll be able to do it with this. It's okay. Can I can I ask what is this exactly? No, because you're, you're living through a vision. You're not... Uh, you don't have control here. Another vision. You are now high above the ground, probably in that mech, attacking a city. And there's oh. other mechs on the ground trying to stop you, and you are unrelenting. Nothing is going to prevent you from getting to the heart of this city. And you see a very tall, clear building. It almost looks like like it's made of quartz. And then the flashes end, and it's something different. You don't even understand what you're seeing. Shapes. The fourth Sounds. Dimension. Shapes and colors. A planet with two moons, a large ship Tatooine? over it. Oh, Tatooine has two suns. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Fake fan. <laughs> a large ship in between one of the moons and the planet, disgorging hundreds and thousands of other small creatures and ships, flooding them towards one of this planet's two continents. Noah's Ark. What? It's, it's, a, it's an invasion. He's describing an invasion. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were going on to the ship. Instead of coming out and of the And then, ship. nope, disgorging means getting just sort of spewed, I like vomiting out of. SAT words. On the ground on that planet, you see dozens of cities dotting uh, a section of one of the continents, and then the visions fade, and you're back in your body, and no time has passed. You wrapped one knuckle on it and never took your hand off. You're clammy. You're sweating. <gasps> Wait, no, the second, the millisecond he comes back, I'm in the process of saying, oh, don't touch that! As Whoa, you pull you your okay? hand back. Whoa, guys, I saw something I probably should have on my fucking guy, guys. You sound like Sylvester <laughs> okay. Stallone all of a sudden. <laughs> Yo, Adrian! <laughs> can I do a patch check on him to make sure that he is fine? Uh, you can sort of plug in... Uh, to his mech and see what the medical readings say out on it, yes, that would be fine. Because okay. you're All both right. in your mechs right now, so you'd have to get out to do that. But I roll a d20, correct? Yes. And then you'll add your modifiers if you have any. I have an 8. Uh, his heart rate is very high, maybe 140 BPM. Holy shit. Temperature is normal, but other than the high pulse and high blood pressure, he's fine. Okay. Hey, why don't we have you sit down for a minute, dude? But I'm already sitting up in the back. Yeah, as you let go of it, you sort of fell back and you're on your ass. Okay. Your shiny metal ass. Then let's prop you up and let's get you out of the crater and up with the bodyguard team until your heart rate slows down. No. I need to know what this is. We will find out and we will tell you. You need to not <laughs> yeah, you die. You do pick first. up a shotgun and you do like the one handed cock maneuver with it. We need to find out what it is. <laughs> what I are you? It. You what? I shoot it. I shoot no, it. No, I, I hold your hand no, right no. right before you make the shot. Don't you fucking dare shoot it. This thing's evil. That's what I've determined. What did you see? What happened? I saw some shit, man. There's like this black tower, and then there was like a bunch of these things, and then there was like a mech, but it was like a really big mech. It was like twice the size of fucking Tex. It was blowing up a city and everything. It was crazy. Was was all this stuff that happened, John? Uh, you saw a planet with two moons, Earth-like, um, a ship in between the closer moon and the planet, spewing out tons of other smaller ships and alien creatures towards the planet. I uh, see. Spew. That's a good word. It's a nice one-syllable word. Yeah, as opposed to disgorging, <laughs> which is yeah, dis- which is happened. discouraging to Gerard, apparently. Disgorging, uh, disgorging. Vomiting, vomiting would also work. Ew, um, no, no. Take that back. What about discharge? Take that <laughs> right now. That's the worst one. That's it. You also saw that there were dozens of cities along one section of this continent that seemed to be the target of the attacks. I say that to them as well. 
Did it look like like the planet we're on? No. Uh, like the continents didn't match? Okay. No. But that can be attributed to however long ago it was, continental drift, plate tectonics, well, things I, change. <laughs> so I, would, I just edited the last episode today. Uh, this planet has six moons. <laughs> so it can't cool. be this planet. We said this planet has six moons? Okay. You said that you roll, it had 1d6 moons and you rolled a six. Right, okay. Do you need is to it, update the vision, John? I was going to say, is no. it six no, moons? No, I do not. I don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, listen, sometimes planets gain moons. We can't rule it out. But just say it. How long would it be for us for Earth to gain a moon? Oh, it, it, what would have to happen? Uh, asteroid well, has to drift in. If the Earth it. gains a moon, we're all probably going to die. It have some <laughs> some funky effects on the tides, if nothing else. Yeah, gravity is a bitch. Uh, anyway, we um, I'll say okay. Well, um, hey, come out of the crater. I don't want you near that thing. I don't want anyone near that thing. Uh, Fine. Right, hold okay, on. The captain go. said the thing speaks, and we should speak to it. So I would like to try to address it. Fair. Talk to it, dude. Uh, go ahead, Mac. It might be different for you because you're, you know, metal. Uh, I try to say hello in what's a uh, common tongue. Hello, mm. English. <laughs> no one's. You... Uh, if you're speaking to a machine, it's gonna be zeros and ones. Binary. Yeah. All right. I try and z- uh, binary. I try JavaScript. How do you speak JavaScript? JavaScript is not. Why well, does a program HTML. Yeah. I speak Microsoft <laughs> Word at it. Are, if you try in binary, how are you doing that? Are you doing visual flashes or audio to try and denote binary? I start with visual. If that doesn't work, I'll do sound. Okay. Uh, visual does not appear to do anything, but audio, you get a response. And it is, hello? Huh, do we shalom. all hear the hello, or is it beeping back? He hears in... the beeping back. Okay. Very, very low, but he hears it. It's... So it's, only it's, Mac in, it's like almost inaudible, but he's got the systems to pick it up. Great. I introduce myself. I'm Mac, and you are? Data corrupted. No memory. Oh, shit. Of who I am. Great. Do you know where <laughs> you are? We threw out his name. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where you are? Processing planet Ferris. Yeah, is that what we call it? That's not no. what we call it. Okay. Where is planet Ferris? Here. Give me coordinates. <laughs> uh... Using the coordinates, it does ping this planet as Ferris. What year is it? Uh, the year is approximately using... It's going to give you a year in... It has been approximately... How old's the universe? It's going to do it from the base of the universe. <laughs> What's the year? It's like seven and a half billion, right? No, the... The, 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 the exa- universe, uh, 13. is it 13? 13.2, I want to say. 13.2? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. And you would know this based on science that you have access to. It gives an exact date from the Big Bang in number of Day. of standard days of this planet, which are almost exactly the same as Earth. All right, I'm trying, John, I'm trying to determine if, if the thing, it, it seems like it might be in a different time period when maybe this planet either used to be called Ferris or sometime in the future when it will be or something. Okay. Um, I, think, trying to determine I, I think it's when I asked it what's year. What, what they you, called it. You correlate Whoever they are. the date in Earth years that the calendar that is used with that, and it's right plus or minus like a decade. Really? Yes. Interesting. The All date right, would line up based on current understanding of the universe, whatever that is. We're not gonna give a hard number because maybe they have a better understanding in four thousand years. God, I hope so. Mm-hmm. Or two thousand years. <laughs> I hope it's not worse. You should ask it who's in control of Planet Ferris. Who is the leader? Take me to your leader of Planet Ferris. It's <laughs> not what I said, but okay. Who's the leader of Planet Current Ferris? Current leadership of Planet Ferris is unknown. Civil war ongoing. Huh. And that's where we're at uh, right now, right? Invasion from extra-dimensional threat active. Extra-dimensional, he says. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> Are we the baddies? Or it, <laughs> Are we it, the baddies? <laughs> you know, it's it's probably from a different dimension. So it, it's probably, it, this is probably a parallel well, dimension to wherever it came from, maybe? Ask it where it fell from. Where did you fall from? Where do you hail from? Unknown. I like to imagine we're all just yelling perhaps, these questions to Mac here. from atop the crater. Yeah, why not? Well, radioing. <laughs> Unsure of origin. Data corrupted. And you're getting all of this in just beeps and chirps because it's giving it to you in binary. Right. And you're able to do right. that because you're a computer. Right, and I, I produce a screen or something and translate it so the, the rest of the party can understand it. As yeah, we get like a text readout. Yeah, subtitles. Yeah. My casing is damaged. Do you have 
components to repair or device so that I may come with you. I haven't been able to communicate with anyone else for a long time. Usually I just project weird cryptic visions because that's all I can do. <laughs> How long have you been here? Yeah, thanks for that. I Here? How long have I been here? Approximately, and it's like... How do you denote time? Uh, the planets. Um, well, just just beep out once. like uh, what the length of a second or a minute. Oh yeah, all right. Seconds and minutes. That that's all that yeah. matters. Okay, so you you explain to it how where you're from time works, and it says one hour twenty minutes. That tracks. All right. Yeah. Joe, um, how does one explain time? You're not explaining time. You're explaining your system of measurement for time. That's much easier. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Just like how long a second. This is how long a second is. Beep. One. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, at, tell it we don't even know what it's made of to like attempt to repair it. What? What are you? What is this material that you're made of? What are you? Ferris. You are Ferris. So you're the you are the planet Ferris. The planet is named for this element. Am I hearing? Am I hearing this conversation? Uh, you're being given a text screen. He's made of iron. No, not, not necessarily. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's spelled differently than F-E-R-O-U-S. <laughs> it's space iron. Get it right. Yeah, look, that's... you. You Knowing people, this will be called space iron after they figure it out. Yeah, I mean... Ask it, why have we been attacked by uh, robots that are made of this same material? Like, why are they? Why have they been hostile? I don't think it's gonna know because the data corruption. I think. Uh, I mean, so we it's gotta worth a try. The resistance continues. I mean, I suppose it does. We 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 did we didn't come for war though. Like, I explain to me like why we're here. An artificial intelligence, currently experiencing what you as a meat being would call brain damage. A meat being. A meat, <laughs> <laughs> meat a bags. A carbon-based life form. <laughs> Dane Bramage. Doing All the right. best I can. You do you, friend. Ask it what the weird visions it, it showed me were. My friend here saw some weird visions, and I explained the visions back to him. What does all that mean? They were invasions of the original planet of the people who later occupied this one. Oh. So. Their planet was destroyed wait. in its defense, and enough people survived that they were able to move through a portal to here. They... They did not have... Physics are different where they are originally from. The laws are different than here. So the people of, of this planet, Ferris, attacked whatever the other planet is. No. And no? Okay, so who, who attacked? The people them? of this the planet are, are the refugees from the other planet. Okay. okay. I'm confused. That's I'm fine. Confused. That's good. I haven't given Great. you a lot of clear information. <laughs> That's the point. This will be come together as we go. Great. I would like more clear information. Give us more clear information. I'm giving as clear information as I can based on my corrupted data. Give give more clear ask, information. Ask it, nice ask it what him. happened to the refugees that came here. They settled and adapted to life in this dimension. But this was this wasn't this planet like vacated when we came here? Wasn't this like a new world uninhabited? This was approximately fifteen thousand years ago. In your time. That's enough time for... Yeah. It's a pretty long time ago. Yeah, stuff to not be seen anymore. Ask them w what they showed our friends that has caused them to want to sprint toward the mountain so badly. The mountain must be deactivated. It is an emergency defense system for this planet, but its occupants no longer need defending. But the defense system will expand until whatever it deems a threat is eliminated. And that is, and that's the the goo robots, correct? They are not goo. Nanobots. Goo bots. Hey, goo bots. I was originally <laughs> a construct meant to aid in that, but I am damaged. Can you turn them off? Not in my current state. No, I cannot disable them. But if you get me to the labs within to a alternate facility, labs within alternate facility, labs. Okay. Alternate uh -oh. facility labs He's stuck near mountain. Adjacent facility on right. route. I think he's, he's All right. short circuiting. Possibly. Right, we need to either figure repair. out how to transport or partially repair this thing so that it could follow us. Can you move? Can you move? I cannot, but I can eject my core and you can take that with you. 
Will touching the core cause you to have weird visions? No. <laughs> I am in control of the visions. You're con- oh, so you purposefully gave my friend here oh, the Oh, thanks visions. for that. Yes, I was trying to do what I could to communicate with him. Did not well, know didn't I understand. Speak binaries in- I did not know there was a way of me to communicate in a normal fashion here. We understand now. We appreciate you trying to speak with us, and we're trying to speak with you. So we'll do what we can to help you. How do, how do we? from a place where the original inhabitants, things are more cryptic and different and make less sense. It seems like it. All right, let's eject your core, and we'll take you with us. All right. Yeah, Mac, ca- carry the core. Um, I'm going to carry the core. In your Mac. Okay. And, uh, uh, and as you say that... Let's get a move on. Uh, if I eject my core, would I be able to interface with you through some sort of cabling? Uh, I jumble around in my uh, bag of holding, and uh, I say yes. <laughs> your bag of holding? <laughs> yes, you have some ways of... Uh, I can reconfigure a port based on whatever cable you have. This is fine. Great. Uh, I have an HD in my doing cord. That, you see not the top surface, but one of the sort of side facing surfaces, almost at an atomic level, just kind of unfold out and like open. Is it the nat one side? And a it's triangular core induction. about one foot long. It is also the same color black on that surface and the sides that you uh, can see. It's a D4. No. <laughs> it is it is a triangular cylinder, the best way I can say it. It's about a foot long, it's triangle on each end. Oh, sure, a triangular prism. Yes, that's uh, the word, prism. There it is. Like a big old crystal. A D3. Meth? Technically, oh, it's, okay. technically it's a five-sided <laughs> shape, but yes. Right, but you would roll it as a... Th- anyway. Yeah, uh, and the communication stops once the core is out. All right, Mac, put it up your butt. <laughs> All right, And you do go. notice that there are fractures on the sides, oh. on one of the side surfaces. Yeah, we, we should get hmm. moving to try to catch up the, to the commander. Maybe we can take a moment to try to repair them later. But for now, plug in and let's let's get a move on. All right, plug them in. Uh, you present Whoa! the port and one of the ends <laughs> slowly reconfigures into uh, okay. it's a USB 12. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's just a magnet maybe at this point. It just sticks on. <laughs> like, I'm thinking maybe it should have t- taken you to dinner first. Uh, and it connects slightly more clear in here. <laughs> I would properly introduce myself, but as I said, I don't remember my name. Great. Well, let's help you figure that out. We'll uh, see what we can do for you. Do you have a map? And I can perhaps overlay the map uh, I have with where the facility we need to reach is. Tim. In DDO, here it is. DDO? Amazing. Yeah. Uh, right. And it know. marks an area... So, if you remember the paper map that I gave you... I still have it! Yes, I have it up on the screen! (laughs) With the mountains, right? Yes. All the little triangles? Yeah, I have it! New Tannis, spaceport... So, if you look at the river that's right in the center of the map, coming from the mountains and slowly moving up... Yeah, and there's like a little lake or something? Yes, you see that lake? If you travel four trees back from that lake, you'll see four (laughs) normally drawn trees... The fifth one that looks kind of fucked up because my hand slipped while I was drawing it. <laughs> that is where you need to go. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Okay. 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 Just so we have an and idea, and I'll send. As long as Brian you. understands what you're saying, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, Alex, I'll show you where it is. It's right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> thank you for showing us. For the record, right. everyone, we're playing over Discord. None of us have our camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, the red dot is where you are currently at the crater, and the blue dot is it. Brian, did you get it that right when I explained it? The blue, right? Yep, blue dot is where you need to go, red is where you yes! currently are. Very good. I was right! Yes, good. Cool. I, yes! Wasn't. I gave you I, was right. I wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I am the best! Look! <laughs> <laughs> the one that's so fucked up. Whoa. <laughs> it's such a weird through Discord. I put, <laughs> I displayed this map on my display for the party to see, and I go, we are here. We need to go here. Let's go. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I guess let's get, let's get a move on. And uh, as we run, can I every now and then attempt to hail the commander? Yes. To make sure he's trying to maybe go the same way. Uh, you're still with you. After a few minutes of really running, are within comms range, based on your understanding of this. Uh, and you hail again. Yes, hook. Uh, Commander, we we spoke to the thing. Uh, what do you we're mean you we're spoke to running the thing? after you. 
What does that mean? You said it's, speak to it's it. It's complicated. If you hold position, we can catch up to you and, and explain more. We may need to divert course slightly if you're trying to head for the mountain. We need to divert a little bit. I'm not going to divert yet. I need you to better explain what you mean by spoke. Did someone have a conversation with it? Or did you get weird flashes of imagery? It speaks binary. It, it gave Viper some imagery, but then it Mac was able to actually speak to it. Viper... I would like you to pipe up and say, it gave Viper a panic attack. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I saw some visions, man. Did you see the visions too? I need, I I need you things. to do a, a 20 second Bill Paxton from Aliens right now. <laughs> <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. Never seen it. What? Uh, you s- <laughs> I've never seen it. Uh, okay. Are, are Not we, a have well, you seen Brian the, off the channel. Have you seen the first one? First what? Alien. 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 There's more than one? There's, There's like eight. <laughs> <Aliens. laughs> hey, we, yeah. we need to have a movie night. We need to have a lot of yeah. movie nights with Brian. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know of it. I've just never seen it. I, I know of it. it just, Alien yeah. series chronological order. Okay. Okay, I yes. know, I've watched all of them. <laughs> so there's Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs. Predator, Alien vs. Predator Requiem, Prometheus, and then there's Alien Covenant. Jesus Christ, what is this, the Marvel series? I will say, Prometheus is pretty dope. It, you know, it, it gets more hate than it deserves. It gets hate yes. because it's an Alien prequel. It is otherwise fine. And there, there are some problems with it, but... It's fine. It changes some things, like, but it's... Why did sh- why did Charlie stay on run with the ship? <laughs> yeah, the biggest problem is the Prometheus <laughs> school of running away from things. <laughs> it's like, all right, this ship is the size of a small planet. I'm going anyway, to run we're gonna, we're gonna, Speaking of running away from things, yeah. we are trying to run toward our commander so that we can hopefully regroup and was, meet with him at the blue point. Okay, so you... I was you, attempting to explain the vision to the commander. You explain that Mac had a... We're running the whole a time. A conversation though. conversation with it. That it was sentence, 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 sentence. And he goes, okay. It was binary. I'll wait. Actually, I'll come back. <laughs> we'll meet. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'll wait. Good. What are you, a fifth grade teacher? <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, and there are... <laughs> These conversations are more important than what I have to say. <laughs> One, After two, three. A few eyes minutes, on me. You meet up with the, rem- the remnant of Vanguard Squad. Uh, which I will give an accurate accounting of when I remember, because I I said this weeks ago, and I you should I should have that do that now somewhere. if you can. Um, Ten and a half minutes later. How about an even cleaner soundbite of? Okay, the three mechs walk up to you. They are the three mechs walking up to you are a Genghis named Conquest, piloted by by Commander Redrick, a Tokugawa mech named Memory of Askira, and Tequila Sunrise, a Saladin. Oh, it didn't right. take us 45 minutes to figure that out. It didn't take out. 45 minutes, it took 10. You're right. Okay, those are your mechs. Great, those are their mechs. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on, there's a... <laughs> That's uh, loud! Here, oh my God. Here come the mechs! <laughs> they're, co- they're coming to arrest Big Nook. Here they come. Ew. FBI, open up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so, now that we know who is walking up to us, or what is walking up to us, I say, I, I go, oh, Christ. All right, good to see you, one, mostly One Piece, Commander. Isn't that an anime? We've been better. One Piece, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, listen, Mac spoke to the, the, the AI that's at the center of that thing. It told us of a, a secondary base we can go to where it thinks it might be able to help shut down some of the defenses. It's only a minor detour. It's a, You have to hook a little bit north. It's not a huge deal. I think we should go there before ha. we go to the mountain. Gotta hook. And then I'll send him the coordinates. Anything to ease our time getting to the... Anything to ease our time... Alright, let me say that again. <laughs> anything to ease our time getting to that mountain is going to be worth the effort. Agreed. Got Ian. Is he English now? What happened? I didn't do an English accent. I don't know what I'm doing what there. That? that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to ease our time getting to the mountain is going to be easier. Whether we wanted it or not. Um, <laughs> are, 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 is everybody okay? Have you eaten? Yes, we have food. You looking a little pale? Have you been eating right? Luna's a little worse for wear. Her mech was destroyed, but she's alive. So Good. Well, that's what's important. Why don't we keep moving? We can catch up a bit along the way. 
outstanding. Protocol one, link to pilot. Um. All right, six two one. You remember the Sorry, fucking it's number? People who play Armor Core. Okay, that's the new game. What? Okay. This is, this I was is like, BT is that Titanfall? Titanfall? Gerard, no, you Armor remember? <laughs> okay. Yeah, BT seven two seven four. That God. I wouldn't have remembered this far. In <laughs> fucking away. don't remember. No, because I played Titanfall I in twenty fifteen. I don't know. I know he, I, they just called him BT. Close I didn't enough, remember his man. numbers. <laughs> it's been a long time. I I only remember that because I just watched a speed run of it. This is the first time that you've all been together since the this shit show started. Indeed, together in quotations. Yeah, we're down one actually, unfortunately. Yeah, one one dead. Um. Well, so so well, can we just say that I like catch up the commander on everything we went through with the spaceport and the comms array and the settlement and. You know. Yes. So, um, good. They're sending up communication buoys periodically, so we just have the timers on that. Yeah, that I'll give him the, the 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 clock <laughs> that we're operating. Yeah, you can off just of. share everything. Uh, we yeah, have yeah, share that data. We have an emergency evacuation ship. If we can shut down the anti-air, that's good. Um, yep. The anti-air is not guns. It they do not have fixed emplacements where you're thinking. There were a handful of missiles that went up. We don't know where they came from, and there are aircraft. Interesting. Uh, some sort of large missile barge ships and uh, fighter craft. But that's all we can really make out. Dope. Not really conducive to the way I fight. And uh, the memory of Askira sort of flicks the sword. I I wave my big sword around, I'm like, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. He's one, he's one with the blade. He studied the blade. One with All four of them. We'll get Luna a new mech when we get the chance. Um, and you recall that you have extra repair pods for all of them. They haven't gotten a full repair yet, so you might want to give them their oh. pods. Yeah, They're like um, nano re- nanobot repairs for emergencies. Yeah, stuff. oh, oh uh, if we could spare a moment, Commander, we have uh, some repair stuff for you guys. Nano repair kits. Expensive. Just, just the one, but... Well, one for each of us, it looks like. Yeah. That's good figure you could use them. We're all about fucking out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they each take about a minute and you see out of this jar nanobots just sort of flood out and over them, filling and welding gaps, making missiles, restoring ammunition, just a crazy amount of stuff. And you also don't really know where they're getting the extra matter for that. Like how they're doing it. It doesn't matter. But they are I mean, right. all <laughs> restocked and ready to go. Future! And then the nano repair kits uh, for very expensive but sometimes needed out of shop repairs are used. Three of them. Uh, so you have one left for each of you and one spare that was supposed to go to Luna's mech because you weren't sure if it was destroyed or not or just damaged. So you have right. six left for the eight of, between the eight of you. All right. Just have to conserve ammunition. We have a bit of a walk ahead of us if we want to get there before dark. Yep. Keep it moving. Onward! Uh, and everyone's sort of making as light conversation as can be. You're all professional soldiers. If you're not trying to keep it uh, light, you'd probably all be much worse off. Actually, the conversation would probably be a lot of dark jokes instead of... Yeah, but that's keeping it light. Jokes. Like, just making jokes yeah, as opposed to... a little bit to of battlefield gallows humor. Little, as opposed to lamenting everything that's happened. Yeah. And how awful this fucking is. Probably also talking shop, like, you know, I was like, oh, we fought this kind of unit, and they seem to be resistant to this or susceptible to that, and, you know... Yeah, just, just sort of sharing intel, co- corroborating everything, figuring out that, like, okay. Yeah, they probably so fought some slightly different units. It looks like they have... Fought. It's, it's uh, safe uh, to assume. Uh, yes, uh, Brian? I speak to the core, Ooh, and I try to okay. help jog its memory as to what it's made of and try so to we'll, figure out how we we'll can fix it. We'll do a slight it. aside while everyone else is talking. Mac is going to be dealing with the core. Yes. We'll have this happen for a minute. So what is your? what are you doing? I want to try to take uh, get it to jog its memory right, well, somehow. You, you kind I know of just that... sort of think along with it now, like... You, you're communicating yeah. with it, too. This is two-way, so you can sort of see yeah. its pathways, the way it's wired, the way it works, and you have no fucking idea how this thing works. To you, this looks almost like a block of stone. 
there's no like internal wires or anything. No, this going looks on. like almost a solid piece of stone where the pathways through it are just lines through it. Like they're not like it's not the way you understand a circuit board to be. It's as, as if a circuit board were made into a piece of stone. There's no capacitors, no diodes, no wires. It's just all of it serving those purposes, but it's just lines in stone. Can I tap into the World Wide Web and uh, search the internet and see if anybody <laughs> has sure dealt with established this? That we can't you can tap that. into your <laughs> databanks on anything you may have downloaded and... Can I yeah. search my mind? <laughs> yes, so that would be an like investigation. That is mind. a sort of try and figure it out, recall it. I have hack or fix. In- investigate. Um, two. I know nothing. Uh, yeah, you're, Christ, you got I nothing. Just, this no. is like, you're talking... Brian, get a new D20. You're talking <laughs> to have, a rock. I've been rolling this is, every time. This is a piece of stone. This should behave like a block of granite, not a supercomputer. And you don't know why no, it is. I, I roll again. What? I roll again. Why? <laughs> because I didn't like the first one. That's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't any better. Because <laughs> I wanna. <laughs> well, he still <laughs> fucked it up, so it doesn't really matter. But you know what? I got a natural twenty. There you go. Okay, you can't keep rolling until you get a twenty. That's not how this works. <laughs> no, I didn't even roll that time. Okay. <laughs> I just put it down gently in your dice tray. Wow, look a twenty. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so do I? Yeah. I there, I, there is I, nothing I, I like this. I look through this. its mind. I look through its mind to see what you do else see. I could have damage you can determine what's damaged and what's separate from it but all right well that's something you don't I mean know i can tell how to repair it other than getting more of this material and having it sort of atomically bond to it. i mean what what does it know about its own i know a lot of data has been lost and whatnot but what can it does how much does it know about itself and its internal wiring and such like that must be almost hardwired in somehow, right? It's got to know how it's... I have a fair understanding of how my machinery works, which is why I know this facility may have the ability to repair it. I don't quite know how to explain it based on what you're telling me, how machinery works where you live, where you are from. We started at a different point and, and this is how we've done it. We don't know the people who built me were from another dimension. They called them planes. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, it's like it's like trying to translate to a different language that doesn't have yeah the same words, the same concepts. It's like trying to talk to Cthulhu, which doesn't work. It's like me talking to my cat about Saturn. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> right, it's right. that far <laughs> above you. Yeah, trying to explain taxes to an ant. Yeah. yeah. Although ants might actually understand taxes because they're part of a colony system, but that's not the point. Um, all right, and that's where we're going to end the episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I mean, right. Well, we'll, we'll get to the facility uh, next time, probably. Yes, right? you will approach the facility and it will probably be a combat encounter. So I will uh, talk to you about making a map. Spoilers, John. Look, <laughs> you don't have to leave this part in. Spoilers. That's fine. Spoilers. <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna know. Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. <laughs> Look, spoilers. No, it's also a bit of fight every other episode. Yeah, I think been, the audience gets it at this I've, point. I've been trying to be like, okay, we don't have to fight every episode because that ends up being a lot of the episode. Anyway, you and your thanks for watching, everybody. Reunited comrades, okay. head towards the facility, and that's where we'll pick up next time. Sorry, so you just have a clean outro there for me. Yeah. Uh, Huzzah. Okay, we did it. We we found we the commander. It. That's actually a pretty big objective. That is. Um, that's one of your primary objectives after everything went to shit. Yes. Well, Everybody, okay, thank friends. you again so much for watching and yes, for subscribing. We are so glad that you like this and we'll keep doing this. Until we're dead. Yeah. If you have any out. comments on what you'd like to see next... Or what else you'd like to see us or do? Like Let's second know that from too. next. We have plans for season four. I don't want to get uh, anyone's hopes up. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I was going to say, are we allowed to say what season four is going to be yet? Not, Not yet, because I assume we're more than two sessions away from yes, the end. And that would are, break our very short-lived tradition we are, <laughs> okay. of revealing the next season two sessions from the end. <laughs> but hey, as John always says, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your dog. Tell your grandma. 
Tell her yeah. your grandma what a computer is. First, explain to your grandmother what a TTRPG is. Then... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in two weeks. Have, we have love a good you. Two weeks. Have a wonderful yes. day. See you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.